this is Mari Lane on the Buying Space channel. It is the Lent season, and I am reading from Joel, chapter 2, verses 12 to 19. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and with mourning. Render your hearts, not your clothing, Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him? a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation assembled, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast, let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery. A byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the prophets? Where is their God? Then the Lord became jealous for his land in response to the people of the Lord said, I am sending you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied, and I will no more make you mockery among the nations. We are in a season of repentance. We just had Ash Wednesday this week. And here it's saying, don't do, or actually it's not saying don't do. It's saying that these physical things of putting on the ashes and you know wearing sackcloth and renting your clothes and all these things that people do during the season of repentance or talk about during the season of repentance, that that's what's more important is you rent your heart, that you are repentant in your heart and soul, not in your clothing. Now, it is a practice during times of repentance that we put on ashes on our head like on an Ash Wednesday. And we put on plain clothes. Not everybody has sackcloth available. <laughs> so you put on plain clothes. The fancy adornments. The church dress. You don't wear it. You wear plain, ordinary clothes. No patterns. No flowers. No stripes. Just... A plain outfit with no jewelry, no makeup, no perfume, like Esther did when he she went to pray to God to save her people. She put ashes on her head and she put on sackcloth and she prayed. So it's not necessarily the the sign of not be not glorifying yourself in what you're wearing not wearing makeup perfume fancy clothes to be ordinary and plain and humble that's the word i'm looking for being humble before god not glorifying yourself 
And that's what God wants. He wants us to be repentant of our sins. Because during this season of Lent, we are remembering the crucifixion. During the Christmas season, the Advent season, we are remembering that God sent His Son for us to die on the cross. But during the Lent season, we are remembering that God sent His only begotten Son to die for us. To atone us for our sins. Because we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. I hope you'll have a good Advent season, not Advent season, Lent season. And remember this during Lent. Uh, and if you're not following Lent as far as fasting, that's okay too. It's a season to pray to God, to be humble before God. To confess your sins and to be grateful for the sacrifices that God has made for us. Not necessarily to have that big party at Mardi Gras. <laughs> or don't, and if you fast, don't brag about it. And we only say that. So people will know not to brag about it, right? But ask for forgiveness. Be repentant. Be humble before God during this season and talk to Him. If you do nothing else, if you don't put uh, ashes on your forehead, if you don't rent your clothes or wear plain clothes, if you don't do any of those things, just remember what's important is what's in your heart and that you have repentance and ask forgiveness for your sins and be humble. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.